Welcome to the modern edition of this program, My Story. My Story is an inspirational program aimed at encouraging your minds to fight for their dreams despite the challenges life might throw at them. Everyone has a story to tell, good or bad. They are meant to teach life valuable lessons and spur a resolute heart into rewarding adventures. Mine is a separate journey from growth to discovery to movement to transformation and expansion. That's my story. My name is Oponisa Basipasi and today we have Reverend Gabriel Okena of Words of Anabo and he will be telling us his story. My name is Bishop Dr. Gabriel Ikena. I am the privileged general overseer of World Tabernacle Worldwide, uh, which headquarters is situated at Osongoma Estate of Oron Road, Uyo, in Akwaibom State of Nigeria. I started my journey by giving my life to the Lord Jesus Christ on Friday, the 16th day of August 1983, where I listened to God's word in a crusade, and I decided to receive the life of God into my spirit. I began that journey from there, and um, in the process of serving the Lord in the body of Christ, in the assemblies of God, I heard the call of God. I studied the ministry. I studied Bible school in the Assemblies of God and I started pastoring from one station to the other until when I had the call to start Word Tabernacle. Well, I was inspired by the Holy Spirit, uh, the Holy Ghost, assured me that um, I will not be just another pastor, that my calling will be unique. Because you see, I, I, I watched pastors beg to eat. I watched their wives frustrated, their children cast out of school because they could not pay the bills. So I said to myself, I'm not good in begging. I won't be able to go through that. But the Holy Spirit assured me that I will not be that kind of pastor, that is what was my inspiration. I am not unaware of the fact that there are people who say God is calling them, and uh, yet God is not. It's just like your biological father calling you. You will know when he calls you, you will know. If you're the one calling yourself, you will know. And God is my father. When he called me, I knew he called me because apart from the audible voices I heard, I had some encounters that proved clearly that God called me. At a certain point, I must admit, I must be sincere here, I had to backslide. I went back to the world because I said to myself, I know he's calling me because he has seen me in church very active. So let me go back to the world and see how he will come to the world and call me. I, I had to backslide. I stepped aside from the things I was doing in church. I, I mean, I soft pedaled on those services I rendered in church until one day um, he sent a certain sister to me and she spoke to me encouraged me to obey the call. Even when I came back to the faith, I still did not find it so simple to obey that call until I started having some experiences. I can remember as if, as if yesterday, one day I was sleeping and um, God walked into my room. The door was still closed. As I, he tapped me, somebody tapped me by the side. When I opened my eyes, I saw somebody on white. The light in the room was so bright, I couldn't look on that 
uh, person that I saw. He didn't talk to me, he just beckoned on me, not in the dream physically. So the creature or that personality beckoned on me and I woke up dressed. I had no control over what I was doing. I dressed. I used my hand to open the door. And so I followed that personality. He took me to where you have Salvation Army at Udotongubo. That's Udotongubo by Udotongubo. As I turned to go to Onyo Street, he disappeared. I, I, I think that was an angel. So when the angel left me, I turned back and went back to sleep. As I just laid down, the same angel came back, did the same thing, I followed him. That happened three times. And by the time all those things happened, it was already morning. So I was sure that the Lord had called me. challenges of everyone who is starting a new work, the money, you know, it, it was not as if I saved some money to um, start work Tabernacle, but I knew that he that called me will make a way. So first of all, the money to even get a place to start off was a problem, but you know, when I obeyed, God raised people. Well, another challenge was how to tell people I'm going to start a church, since we already have so many churches around. So what happened was that when we started our church, I started in my parlor, like I said, and then the attendance kept increasing daily until our parlor could not contain us anymore. So we got a place. And even after we had gotten a place, I couldn't use the public address system because I was ashamed, so to speak. You know, I was ashamed people will see me start a church. People will think it is because of money or fame and so on and so forth. So we couldn't use a public address system. The attendance kept building until I, I, I had to strain my voice for people to hear me. So one day I just said to myself, what am I doing? Uh, to myself. Let's use the public address. In fact, we didn't open all the doors when we started. And then I decided, I told them, let's open the door, let's use our public address system. And you know, so the, the challenges were money, what will people say, and so on and so forth. But thank God that with time, we were able to overcome that. close to me um, would notice that I keep saying this consciously or unconsciously that life is a choice. Whatever you become in life is a choice. I don't like a situation where people leave everything at the doorstep of God. Well, maybe God does not want me to be great. Maybe God does not want me to succeed. No, sir. You can choose to succeed and you can also choose to fail. By the grace of God, I chose from the first day I started ministry to succeed. If you are studying, don't want to be like me. Patience is the watchword. You've got to learn to start from somewhere. Don't be discouraged because what you're looking for is not forthcoming. God is a God of time and seasons. Don't you ever make the mistakes that some ministers or some people in life have made. I'm not wanting to take one step at a time. How many of you know that even story building, you, you go to story buildings via staircases. The way up is down. So don't go into rituals. Don't go into diabolical things just to hit it in a mega way. Just follow God step by step. Whether you're a minister or you're a member of the body of Christ or whoever you are listening to me, just be patient with God and be patient with yourself step by step. You will get there by the grace of God.
story. What's yours? Thank you for staying with us on this program. For more episodes of this program, please log on to our website at www.memoristv.com.ng. You can also like and subscribe to this channel. And for participation on this program, please call the number displayed on your screen right now. And I want you to know that my story, an inspirational program, is free. Thank you so much. Keep it back with us next time for more episodes of this program. I remain on for myself as